Hey guys, what's up? Ian here from Middle America Prep. Thanks for tuning in and watching. So I'm going to start this install video down here in the basement. It's 95 degrees outside, as you can tell by the sweat down my arms. Um, it's, it's nice and cool in here, and it's quiet. It's very windy out here today in Kansas, and it's going to be kind of a, a, a rough video later, I'm sure. Um, so just bear with me. But today, I'm going to start the Renogy solar panel install video down here in the basement. All right, so this, I purchased this off Amazon. It was the Renogy 100, 100 watt 30 amp solar panel bundle, not the complete kit. Now the difference is between the bundle and the kit. Um, the bundle comes with the, the solar panel itself, the uh, nine inch MC4 connectors, and the charge controller. Um, now the kit comes with the solar panel, the charge controller, like 10 feet of the MC4 connectors, well, it's just wiring, and then 10 feet of tray cable, and then it also comes with the mounting brackets. This does not have mounting brackets in it. Um, so you can make your own mounting brackets, or if you have a good friend like I did, who recently purchased the same solar panel, just get it from him. Now, I offered him money for these brackets. Um, these are about, you can get a set for about 10, 15 bucks on Amazon. He, he gave them to me because he's not going to use them. He already has his uh, panel set up how he wants it. Um, and I don't have the same real estate issue as he did on his. So, um, so this, these brackets, you know, 10, 15 bucks, you can get them separately. If you, if you purchase this, um, this kit was $169.99 on Amazon. So it's going to be $179 you know, in your Amazon cart if you buy these on average. Um, you can make them for a lot cheaper or similar things for a lot cheaper. Uh, they may not look as pretty, but what you can make is, is pretty well you know, feasible. Um, the cable that originally or should come with the kit, it, it's just 10 aug, you know, wiring that is, is, you know, it's braided cable, or not braided, but uh, stranded cable, sorry. You can buy the same thing on Amazon, or not, on Amazon, or AutoZone, O'Reilly's, Lowe's, any kind of hardware store that has wiring. As long as you get the appropriate size for the appropriate length, you'll be okay. And it's probably gonna be a lot cheaper than buying Renegy's branded um, cabling. Now there is a little bit of difference between the you know the the insulation thickness. Um, I saw I noticed that the insulation on the cables for the Renogy panel uh, from Renogy is it's a lot thicker than the stuff I got at uh, Lowe's, but it's not gonna make a big difference in the end. It's just you know wiring pretty much. So I'm gonna start this video off by mounting these brackets on down here. All right, so we'll go ahead and get this panel opened up and, and flip to this back side so we can see what we're working with. Um, so this panel has six slots, or I'm oh, sorry, and it's kind of eight slots for the mounting brackets, um, four on each side. They can be configured however you want to around obstacles or whatever, uh, and I'm sure you could probably punch some at the ends, but um, you could probably just barely see it in the camera, which I'm, you know, down from the, the bottom side there, but... There's a hole here, here, and two at the bottom, as they're on the other side too. Um, the problem is, what I found is that these holes house a 5 sixteenths um, bolt very nicely. Uh, and, and it's a carriage bolt, and so it locks into that slot. Now the bracket has a slot there that is perfect or a quarter inch, a quarter inch carriage bolt. And I, I thought about it for a minute, <coughs> excuse me, just doing the, the quarter inch bolt. And once it gets up there, it's fine. Um, the, the big problem is, I mean, it's, it's locked into place and it, it's good, but the security I think for myself between a, a quarter inch and a five sixteenths is just a little bit of burrowing out this hole here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my step drill bit and I'm going to drill this back side of this slot out because it's just the back side that's missing uh, enough space for this 5 sixteenths, which is only, you know, an eighth or a sixteenth or a thirty second bigger than this quarter inch slot. So I'm going to go over to the um, stand real fast and I'm going to drill all these out. All right, so this is the bottom side. This is the top flap that goes underneath the uh, the panel. So I'm going to take the step bit here and we're going to try to drill it out just to 5 16ths on that end. 
Um, it's not going to be very hard, just got to make sure it doesn't walk. That's pretty simple. Now let's make sure it's... It fits pretty nicely, just how I want it. I'll do all four of these and we'll get them mounted up. All right, so now I have my um, brackets all done. Since I'm using 5 16 uh, carriage bolts, I went ahead and cut the hole out a little bigger. This was the slot that was originally there, and I kind of drilled it out a little bit more, but then I also took a file and filed down that top edge. Now the reason for that is so I can take my carriage bolt and place it in there and have it locked into that place because you know carriage bolts have the little, little head there. That'll help me lock it in. So let's go ahead. I've also put Loctite on um, on these threads. Well, Uncle Mike's gun tight. It's blue. It's the same thing as blue Loctite. We're gonna go ahead insert carriage bolt as you normally would. Now I'm not using lock nut or lock washers on here because I'm gonna be using Loctite and lock nuts. I mean, if we're gonna go all town, all out, we could go to go and get some lock nuts or lock uh, washers. But what's the reason of that? All right, so shouldn't take too much time. All right, it's nice and tight. This will lock up as soon as those, uh, the Loctite dries up. I'm gonna go ahead and get the other three mounted up and then we'll go about our way. All right, so the brackets are on and it wasn't until um, I was completely mounted up that I realized something that I didn't, I should have done before and I didn't think anything about it. I used one inch, one inch carriage bolts. I don't have one inch here, I have like a half inch. And so you can see that there, it sticks up a hair on all four. Now my quarter inch carriage bolts, those would have been fine because they were three quarters of an inch long. These are one inch. So what I'm gonna do is get the saw out and just chop a little bit of uh, thread that's sticking out there and then we'll go mount it up. All right guys, next step to the panel install is making sure your wires run. Now what I used was some 10 aug wire that I picked up at uh, Lowe's. It cost me four bucks for 10 feet as opposed to the you know 20 or 30 bucks that the 10 foot would cost from Renegy. Yes, the installation is a little bit thinner, but it's gonna be fine. Anyways, I ran this a couple days ago before I had my weekend to work and before I got the panel in. Um, but it comes up here along the side and up here in the window, or the roof vent, sorry. And then it comes up through my roof vent, plastic, and then up and out. So let's get out of the trailer and I'll show you where I'm gonna be mounting the, the solar panel at. So for the obviousness, the solar panel is gonna be setting up here, right? Now, the wiring comes out of the hood, or the roof hood, 
right there. And I've got about a foot and a half to two foot of extra wire wrapped up right there. And I'm not gonna need that much, so I'm gonna be trimming it up and using the little nine inch pigtails the MC, with the MC4 connectors that uh, the Renegy kit comes with. And we'll be connecting it that way. So back in the, the camper itself real fast, um, this right here, this area is gonna be where my my control panel is going to be my charge controller my inverter and um little switch panel has like an on and off switch my fuse block will be right there on the back side of my um, panel i really wanted way after the thought to put it up here on the on the front but since i've recently redid the front i don't want to have to drill through that to, to build anything out to you know have water leaking in it or anything so I think right here on the side will be a great place to have everything controlled from. All right guys, so the panel is in the garage, but it's in the sun just enough so I can do some testing. Now I've got the two uh, pigtails that come off the panel itself. One's male, one's female. And then these are the nine inch male and female pigtails they send with you. Uh, I'm gonna be connecting these to the line that's on top of the trailer, but my big thing here real fast is testing and making sure which one of these is positive and which one's negative. So by doing that, or how I'm gonna do that is turning my voltmeter on, which is way too dark. There's my voltmeter. I'm gonna stick my probes into the connectors to make sure which one's positive and which one's negative. It looks like right now it is pulling a lot of juice. Can you see that there? 21.1 volts It's pulling in from the sun. So that's great. That means that the, the male is the positive while the female is the negative so that needs that means that this right here the nine inch pick to, pick uh, pick note or that means that this one right here the nine inch uh, pigtail and with the mc4 connector that's female is the positive so I need to go and hook this up to my positive one real fast well guys good news and bad news. So let's start with the bad news because just get out of the way. Bad news is I was doing the video, of course, doing the install, and got the panel all wired up. Got this already to go up top. Had the camera rolling when I was doing all the wiring, connecting, and the mounting. Got the panel on the roof, glued down as I wanted it. The brackets glued down, sealed, um, screwed in how I wanted it. And I look around, camera had died. I go back to check the footage, it died in the last clip, literally right after it died. Mind you, my camera is my phone. It's warm out today, it's 95 right now. It's very warm in here actually. Um, being 95 out, using 1080p 60 frames per second on the iPhone, does a toll on the battery. And I do have a little connector, <laughs> connector sucks to charge the battery and use my microphone at the same time. So even though it is still echoing in here, I do have my microphone set up. So it's a lot better than it was, would be without the microphone. Otherwise you'd be hearing wind noise rather than my voice. Um, good news, panel's on. The panel is working. Man, that's warm in here, guys. Um, so I got my voltmeter here. And I'm not gonna bring it down here to check it out, but check my wiring. We're bringing in 19.6 volts right now. And I'm making sure my wiring is connected right. Turn my wires backwards. And that's negative, okay. So, 19.6 volts right now. The sun is currently, um, well, I'm facing north. You're, you're on the north side of me, I'm on the south. It's over in the west side right now. Mind you, it's five o'clock in the evening here in Kansas, so it's August. The sun's going to be setting a little bit earlier every night, um, so I'm getting 19.6 volts. It's pretty good. I only need about a three or four hour window in the middle of the day to really charge a battery off this panel alone. So the summertime is going to be a lot better than the wintertime. So anyways, the panel's good to go. Um, 
I'm going to be working on the charge controller panel tomorrow, and I'm going to bring you guys along with that, of course. But, second good news, this is what I was talking about earlier. Same day, the package I was talking about, my switches and everything, I ordered these Saturday at 7 p.m., or no, 6.55 p.m. I had to order by 7 p.m. to get it shipped out Saturday to get it here Monday today. And it came in today. What is it? What is it? It's a four-in-one socket panel. Right there. Um, of course, made in China and all that greatness. But for $15, it's not that bad of a deal. I could have gone something that was like $30 or $40, $50 from Blue Sea or whatever for marine use. But I'm not using this in a marine use, marine environment. So anyways, comes with connections. Comes with a voltage meter, which I don't know why that one's in the, let me cut the screen. Well, let's rip it open. Comes with a voltage meter, which you can't see that little black dot there. The on off switch, a USB port, and a 12 volt cigarette lighter. Of course, I'm not going to be using a cigarette lighter for this, I'll just be for other accessories. Uh, and then off this, I will have my, or off of this, I'll basically have my charge controller. So my on off switch from the battery will be going through this charge controller and then from the charge controller on the battery to the inverter and a couple other accessories so anyways I'll get a close up of this real quick so there's the uh, little pad how it is I just I just plugged them in there screwed them in got the USB there 12 volt outlet on off switch and a voltage regulator and uh, that's pretty much all it includes. That's pretty easy. 15 bucks on Amazon. Free shipping on Prime. That's, that's pretty quick and nice and nice little addition that'll go right here on a panel. And I'll be able to plug everything I need to in there. All right, guys, there it is. I'm, I just I hate that I lost all my footage that I thought I had. But it's looking pretty pristine. And even though a little bit of my tank here is covering up, it's still pulling about 19 and a half, 19.6 volts, which will be plenty enough to do what I need it to do. So thanks for tuning on this video. Um, I, my next pro video that I put up will probably be making the control panel, wiring it all up, and going about that way. Um, my only issue right now is I don't have a battery. Uh, my battery is on order and it should be coming soon. Um, so anyways, hit that subscribe button down there, hit the bell so you can get notifications, hit the thumbs up if you like this video. You guys, keep coming, carry on, stay safe. See you later.